It's it's crazy how a guy can be out on COVID protocol and his seat seemingly got hotter and he wasn't even on the sidelines or even with the team all week. So the Bears lose, obviously, um, a game, a pretty, pretty heartbreaking game to the 49ers because they, they seemingly had control of the game at one point, end up dropping it. Um, and Matt Nagy, of course, missed the game because of COVID um, protocols. He caught COVID, tested positive. Um, and Chris Tabor, the special teams coordinator, handled the coaching duties. I'm hearing, obviously, a lot of conversation about, you know, this is the end for Matt Nagy, all of that. You know, I, I honestly believe, I'm telling you uh, this, Vic, that, uh, I mean, Lorenzo, that this is, um, this has to be the end for Matt Nagy. It has to be. Um, I don't have, I'm not as down on Nagy as many people are, right? I, I do, th but there comes a time period where you've been given enough opportunities with enough different circumstances for us to say this just didn't work. He's still a very young man by coaching standards. He'll get another opportunity. He have to go back and improve himself again as a coordinator, but there will be another opportunity. He'll, he'll get another chance, but as it is, this is, this is it. But I'm going to tell you something, Lorenzo. I don't think that that's the only move that the bears should make. And I, I and and the other moves I'm thinking that they should make should happen within before the trade deadline. I think that the Bears should trade Allen Robinson, David Montgomery, and Khalil Mack. And it's not because neither of those three guys are not strong players. They're obviously among the best players on the team. But what I'm looking at is with Mack still obviously a major force. I think the Bears really missed him desperately against the 49ers we've gotten zero sacks and zero QB hits against Jimmy Garoppolo the entire the entire game Brian, they I, very, I very much missed Khalil Mack oh yeah so I, I feel, do wanna, okay go ahead hmm? no I, I said I feel like Max prime mm. is we're on the we're on the downside of that so mm -hmm. to me his best days of football are already gone and by the time the Bears are back into a realistic window Mm -hmm. his presence is going to be more of a detriment than an, than an addition because of the humongous salary. So I think obviously we see it. We're seeing uh, what Von Miller just went for today. I think Khalil Mack's uh -huh. a better player than Von Miller right now. So we see what a uh, elite level pass rusher could potentially bring. Allen Robinson's playing on the franchise tag and him and Justin Fields are not on the same page I, anyway. So, and Allen Robinson's a phenomenal receiver. So we, we definitely yeah. know, He's got something to bring. Now, David Montgomery is a different situation. He is young enough to be a part of the win window. But the thing with David Montgomery is Khalil Herbert has really emerged as a legit starting running back. Yes, I'd like to have to see the Bears have two, but I think we all know running back is probably the easiest position to feel right. uh, of all of the you know, you know, know stuff on, the, on, on a roster. So to right. me, I think the Bears have an opportunity to add a ton of draft assets as they get ready to dump Matt Nagy. The Rams, the Rams have some available drafts. <laughs> the Rams don't have enough picks left high enough to get what the Bears are offering. I, I, I do have to ask you this, uh, Brian. Um, how do you feel about Deshaun Jackson being a Bear? Because the Rams are trying to trade him. I don't see why. I don't see any reason why the Bears would get a an aging veteran, a, an older veteran. The Bears are, at this point, would be getting rid of veterans more so than adding older mm. players who cannot, you know, like at this point, it's, it's not about that. I mean, to me, this loss on Sunday is a loss that tells you, if you didn't know already, this is not a team that can contend. This is a team that's moving towards the future. The, mm -hmm. the head coach that you have right now, probably even the general manager that you have right now, probably won't be here next year you don't want to stack veterans that are win now veterans which is what deshaun jackson would be on a team that isn't ready to win right now so for me it's either young players that are coming cheap 
that have upside, that have very, you know, manageable salaries, or it's all about draft assets? I think with the way the Bears are structured, Brian, it's all about building for the draft at this point because I I would think that a lot of veterans, they're probably looking at Chicago and they're looking at it like, you know, it's a potential wasteland. It's very nebulous over there. So, I mean, obviously the older you get, the more you want to play for a contender. And, I mean, I'm with you in the regard that even though – even though Nagy wasn't on the sideline, it was still – it had the 49ers lost that game. Shanahan's seat would have been like Fresno hot. It mm-hmm. would have been extremely hot. Unfortunately, since it's the Bears that lost, even though Nagy wasn't there, it's like it's still an L on his resume. And so it doesn't look good for him moving on out. Yeah. You know, I don't know about the Bears being a wasteland next year. It's all about who who's in the – who's the head coach. Mm-hmm. And the Bears will have probably the most attractive – uh, coach opening, a uh, job opening of any team in the NFL. Because one of the things that any coach, any major coach wants to have in place is a young franchise quarterback. The Bears have that. And you have an ability to walk in and say, okay, this kid is still at the beginning of his career. We can build a system, build an, uh, everything around him. And that's the whole point. That would be part of my interview with any head coach. How are you going to build around and utilize Justin Fields? We need something that is built totally around him. And to me, uh, uh, you know, Brady would be not – obviously not Tom Brady. We're talking about the, the coordinator uh, with the Panthers, Joe Brady. Brady, Joe Brady would, yeah. would be the, a guy that I would love to see get an opportunity to come in and be offered the job to coach Justin Fields. Uh, we're talking about guys like – even guys like Eric Bieniemy, and I know – that there would probably be a major issue with the Bears going to get another Andy Reid disciple to be the head coach since that's where Nagy came from. But, yeah, I I see that the Bears could have a very attractive opportunity for a head coach and a new general manager if they create the draft assets that they're capable of creating by moving some of the guys that they have, the Allen Robinsons, the Khalil Max, the the David Montgomery's, those guys, and the, even the Akeem Hicks, those guys could bring back some stuff, some draft assets that would make the job itself all the more attractive. So we'll see what happens, man. But, um, yeah, Matt Nagy's seat is definitely on fire. At this point, I don't even think it's, it's his – the hot seat concept is more of a – the front office is still making a decision. At this point – I think ownership knows that they got to go in a different direction, mm-hmm. period. So um, everybody more than likely is going to be out. So we'll see what happens, man. But um, it just it seems like a mess. It seems like one. I mean, obviously, you're, you know a little bit more about what's going on over there. But it just seems like a, it seems like a, a severe mess 